Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. My name is Doug Morton, and I'll be highlighting the advanced steel topic today. In this video, we'll be looking at the model checking tool inside of advanced steel. The model checking tool can be used to find situations where the modified element has been changed more than once in the same place, and it also determines situations such as an object being completely hidden because a cut has shortened the object more than the size of the object itself. Let's take a look at an example of the first situation inside of an actual model and how we can correct this using the model check tool. Here we're going to take a look at some of the basics of checking the model for errors. To begin with, one of the options that we have, if we come to the extended modeling tab, you'll see under checking is model check. And a lot of times, if you click on this, you're going to get a list of items that come up. It says overlapping shortening unfixed. And one of the things that you can look for, and I'll show you that in here, is how to fix that when it can't be fixed automatically. So at the bottom, you have some options. You can say check again. You can say fix all errors, fix the selected error, point towards where the year is occurring, or just clear the marked object so that way it's not being uh, marked anymore. I'm going to start off with the fix all errors. We'll run through the list and you can see what it tells me is cannot fix all the way down. So with that said, let's go to the first one. Double click on it. You'll see that beam highlights or is marked red. And I can select it and say hide everything else. Show only that. So let's focus on this and see where the problem is. We'll start by pointing towards it. And sometimes you'll notice that uh, if you go from conceptual to 2D wireframe, it may make it easier to see exactly where it's pointing. So the arrow is coming in and saying that the problem is with this beam and that it's located over here. Now what's actually occurring here, and you, visually it's hard to tell, is if we look at this cut where the beam has been shortened and select it, the window, you'll notice that there's actually two shortenings here. So there's a shortening on top of a shortening, so it's overlapping, and that's what they were talking about, overlapping shortening. It's two of them in the same place. This can happen when, for example, when I put the connection in, and if I come to my uh, joint properties for this, I'll select the joint properties, there we go. And if I come down to and I make this my primary connection, because apparently there are more than one of them in this group for this connection. If I come down here to uh, my cut, my beam cut, you'll see I have straight web cut and I have cut parallel. And at the moment, having both of these enabled has created the same cut twice. So if I remove cut parallel, what will happen now, if I go back to this and select it, you'll notice that it is no longer two of them. It's just one of them. So it's instead of creating that same cut twice in the same place, by removing the cut parallel, now it's only creating the one cut at the end. And by doing that now, it'll create or it will eliminate that issue. So if I come back to my model check again, what you'll notice is that it's gone now. So there's only 20 of them. I'll do it again so we can see. There are 20 issues. Check them all. Can't be fixed manually. So what we'll do is we'll reinforce the check. We'll go to the first one. Can't be fixed automatically, rather. We'll go to the first one. We'll point towards it. And you can see, while well, it's being hidden, so let me just bring everything back. point towards it. I'll select that beam and I'll hide everything else. And what's happening here is probably the same thing. So again, where is that problem taking place? You can see it's saying it's at this end this time. I'll come in, I'll look at the um, properties of that beam. And I'll turn on the features. So 
is pointing at the end. I'll check the features at this end. In here again, I'll just do properties. And you'll see there's two of them. All right. So in order to alleviate that or to fix that, we can come into here. We can say, and I need to pick the green lines again, joint properties. Make that my primary connection. I come in here, see, I have both of them turned on again. So I'll turn one off, then I only have the one. No two in the bracket anymore. Bring everything back, unmark the objects. I'll rerun checking. Now you can see that actually eliminated a couple of problems. I went from 20 down to 60. Because it was in a joint group, I changed every all of them in a joint group. And this is what's taking place here. So it's just a matter of find it. You can see it's highlighted here. You can select it and look at only that. Once you have that in place, you can come in and you can say, uh, I want to select the beam, go to the properties, turn on the features, just to see it and point towards it, and it'll tell you the problems occurring down over here. If I select it, there's two of them. So I need to go into here, select the green frame again, go to Joint Properties, come down, cut parallel, I'll take that off. All right. Let's remove the marking, rerun the agency now. That fixed all the remaining errors. So the model check just looks for where you have your overlapping twice in the same place. Okay. So it can find holes on top of holes. It could find cutbacks on top of cutbacks. Um, so basically, you're just repeating the same cut twice in the same location. Model check when you see those types of errors. That's where that comes into play. I hope this presentation has been helpful. Thank you for taking the time to watch and have a great day.